Yoo-hoo! Package from China! So before we're going to start this review, I'd like to point out that the person who's selling these Game Boy systems have sent me a sample for making this review for him and to show you what are we going to get. So now we're with this out of the way, let's start this review because I'm damn curious what are we going to get. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Welcome back Wicked Family, and in today's video we have a new Game Boy Pie system. And this time we have the upgraded version, or I call it the Game Boy Pie Deluxe, because we got an analog stick and some extra buttons on the back. So this is the improved version on many levels, and I'm going to give you a little tour what is improved of the system. So let's go. So this version has the same six buttons, but as you can see in the left corner, we have an analog stick. The joystick on the system is exactly the same like the GPD version, so in other words, it's a high quality analog stick. So let's take a close look at the D-pad. It's a very nice high quality D-pad. I really love it, it's got a very nice touch to it. The buttons, the start and select are rubbery buttons, so that's very nice. I don't think I see it on the camera. Uh, this version got hollow buttons here. So these are just the basic buttons we know, and these are hollow buttons. At the right side we are finding the volume control, SD slot and a an USB connection. On the left side we are finding an Ethernet connector, very nice if you want to transfer files to your Game Boy Pi and a brightness control. At the top we are finding an LID that indicates how much power you still have, a USB connector for charging and of course the power on and off switch. And at the back we are finding two buttons. So. That are the missing buttons that were needed for games for the PlayStation. What I really love about this system is this Raspberry Pi Game Boy cartridge. It's not removable or so far I know, but this is what I call little details. The screen itself is an EPS screen, so this means very vibrant colors, very good view angle, and not to forget, we got a maximum gaming experience pocket size. Alright, let's take a close look at the main menu. Keep in mind, these systems are going to get delivered without any games, so you need to add them yourself. But I'm going to give you a little overview of what kind of systems it is supporting. And yes, it is even supporting Dreamcast. We're going to do a little bit of a gameplay of that and other systems. Um, this one is running on the newer version of Raspberry Pi. So in other words, it's got more power and it's got more system support. So as you can see, I really love the vibrant colors of the main menu. He did a really good, great job. I really love it. And uh, the menu is very nice and colorful screen. Yeah, I love it. All right, let's play some games. Let's try the analog stick. Alright. And indeed it's super responsive. We need to get used to this tiny stick. Oh, it's really good news. Let's switch to the D-pad. To be honest, I'm more like a D-pad guy. No. 
Now I'm using the D-pad. Let's try the unlock stick. Whoa. Trying to play this game while recording. There is no analog support in the Game Boy part. So. You can see how great the analog stick is. Jump 
so high you defy the laws of gravity is a must-have accessory in Little Big Planet, and your action button will furnish you with this. Give the action button a short, sharp stab for a modest hop. So for the final conclusion about the Game Boy Pie, or better said, the Game Boy Pie Deluxe. Um, I really love that it has an analog stick. The buttons here at the back are very nice. I love the build quality. It's a very nice build quality. I really love what I'm seeing here. It weighs like a freaking brick from the 90. And yeah, the EPS screen is beautiful. So keep in mind, uh, PSP, for example, uh, doesn't have a 100% support, so not all games will run perfectly but then overall it got a wide range of supportive games let me know what you think of this i really love to know i want to thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell and see you in the next video bye bye